I am back already. We can continue. And I think we are just going to the restaurant right away. Hi, Beck. You're Alpha. How are you doing, Alpha? Thank you for stopping by. Hope you're having a good day so far. Um, yeah, we're going to continue with the main story now. At least we're, we're trying to. Uh, last time we got our asses beat, so hopefully it goes better now that I leveled up a few levels. Oh, yeah, you got me. You got me. <laughs> How have you been doing? Or something. Oh, Tojo Clown Crest. Doing fine? That's good to hear. That is good news. Uh, let's do a quick save. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Finished for the weekend? That's nice. We went through this little cutscene before, so I can... Secret little passage, blah blah blah. Big deal. <laughs> yes. Yo, hot boy telling us that it's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> the Omi Alliance coming. Have to save everyone. Yes, sir. I see. Well, if that's what you really want, you might as well listen to it. Then we'll comply. I know you don't have too many options right now. What did Ogikubo say? Kasuga, will you lend us a hand? We only have about two minutes before the Omi arrive. That's not enough time to burn all the evidence of counterfeiting. Wait, you're going to burn it all? Yes, Ogikubo ordered us to pull the plug. There will be no more fake currency made in Ijinjo. None of us realized how serious the Omi Alliance was about destroying the Great Wall. <sighs> that failure is on us. Oh, you're having a day off, Draco. Nice. Mm. Shutting it down won't be enough. That would allow evidence of Okikubo's involvement to survive. We need to burn it all. That's my decision. Junki Han, see that a healthy fire gets started. Something that will burn down our entire surveillance system, as well as our home, the only safe haven for us in this world. Everyone living here depends on it. I know. I'm aware of the consequences. Ah, then please, forgive me for questioning you. Do you guys have any fun plans for the weekend? You're really going to burn it all down to save Ogikubo? Even if it costs you everything? Ogikubo was the only one who ever gave a shit about us. He carved us out a home. It wasn't perfect, but we owe him so okay. much. I'm doing this to pay back our debt to him. I wouldn't even call it a true sacrifice. Most people would call it arson. And you want us to help you? Not with the burning. I just need you to stall the Omi Alliance. Keep them here, at this spot. It won't be for long. We just need enough time to get the fire going. I don't know. Please, we need you. 
<clears throat> oh, I see. Back up. Songui, please don't. Yeah, enough already. Stand up straight. Huh. To be honest, I never really liked you. And I hope you realize we don't owe Ogikubo shit. But a woman as proud as her doesn't bow without a hell of a good reason. <laughs> Ooh. She's finally speaking from the heart. This is as real as it gets. Just a understand? general boo for work in general. Uh, I do now. Sorry. Boo's in the I chat for work. When it comes to women. <laughs> Not me. I'm good in that area, in case anybody was wondering. So you'll help? You'll stall them? Yep, we're doing this. Psycho-san. Yeah? <sighs> Thank you. It's fight time. We are back. So, okay, we're full health. About as prepared as we can. We're, we leveled up about five levels. So, I'm leave. Yo, so let's do it. Let's do this, or at least try to. Oh, I should have saved the money. Here they are. Purple hey, I recognize most of them. Definitely should have saved my money somewhere. You guys aren't dead? Shouldn't you be splattered on a wrecking ball? Nope. Lucky you. You get to fight us again. It's just... Crazy you're still alive. Me? Yeah. Think about it. First, you were shot by Captain Arakawa. Isn't that right? None of your business. I mean, by all accounts, you should be dead. It doesn't make sense. What do you mean by all accounts? I heard Arakawa had his own men dispose of your body. <sighs> the next time I see him, I should ask him why you're still alive. Well, why you were alive. <sighs> Ogasawara-san, the printer's in there. They're trying to burn the evidence. Ishiro-san. <laughs> no wonder there were hardly any Komi Jewel guards. They were all busy barbecuing the place. Ichiban, move. What are you doing? We're about to lose all the evidence. Nobody's getting past me. Sorry. But I made a promise to Songhui. You did what? I swore to her that I would buy her enough time to torch the joint. And Namba, this is for your sake too. You son of a... Ichiban! Hurry up and take them out! This time, I'll make sure you die! Make sure you die! Don't get in my way. Okay, here we go. Up. We now have the tag team move. There's the enemy yeah, with the combined force yeah. of a Nelson hold and a good old fashioned punch. This move cannot be used if Kasuga is afflicted with any status attack. Okay. He's weak against it. Let's do it. Oh! Let's go! Ooh! Oh, oh nice! That hit him pretty good. Ooh, they still hit pretty hard though. Um, good giga swing. Now what's her? Bombardier bash. That was the enemy with the combined force of a tackle and a kick. This move cannot be used. It's a lot of MP though. Mm. I don't want to be interrupted here by any of the one number. Trying to, uh, I tried to charm him. Didn't charm him. Oh, 
Ouch. Still hit pretty hard. Gross. Oh, he missed. That's good. He missed too. Okay. Wow, let's just attack him. This will be the most dangerous opponent. Um, if I can take up multiple. I couldn't take them out, that's not good. Uh, actually, let's. Uh, let's heal Tachi. Okay. I can take the two damage. Uh oh. Ooh, that's so much damage. Uh oh. Oh, and he missed again. He's blind. That's good. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Okay, I could take out the, the goons. I think I'll just attack him. If I sound off so I can't hear anything, but I can't stay away. Oh, you can't hear that bad, but I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, they're so far away. Why are they so far away from me? I need to get rid of at least one of them. And I should probably do heal. Do heal. Help us off again. Ouch. Oh, he's stunned. Ow. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay. Um. Let's get rid of this one, so it's just Namba and Ishioda left. That she's stunned. I could get rid of the status effect, but I'd rather do the full heal. Because she has lower defense, and the dot she is already dinged up a little bit. Goes. Attack from. That she is still stunned. That's not good. Okay. You're gonna get stunned. Give it up already. What do we do? We're in a decent position here. Smack him around. Seven hundred damage. That's good. Ooh, he missed again. He's blind. Okay, now I should be able to get rid of the stun effect for Dachi. Have decent. Oh, what? Didn't work. Uh, hate it. Well, let's do the attack team again. Oh, okay, Daniel. Okay. That's how it goes. We missed again! Okay, Adachi snapped out of it. It was about time. Ice bucket! Ouch. Oh, 
Huh. You have been so patient. That's true. We all have been patient for our soap to to release. Let's do a group heal. Let's do this together. Let's do this together. The mega swing, they're close enough that I might hit both of them. Damage there. Ouch. Stricken with fear just by a kick. Time. Try to get rid of the fear. I mean, that's true. Then get rid of the fear. It's useless. Are they close enough? No, they're not really close at all. Just whack him. I guess so, Daniel. I guess you're right. Let's do group heal. Ouch. He's missing so many attacks. He's still consumed with fear. He's down. He's down. That's what you get, number. He's down. What do you mean? I don't know what you mean, Daniel. I'm confused. But we got a passion bandana. We beat him! <laughs> Success! Fuckers. You were so patient, I think? Things are moving qu quickly, Daniel. I don't know. I don't like the looks what of I said. Smoke. Let's bounce! Cowards! Where are you going? <laughs> Fools. This isn't over yet. Air rifle on su Sunday, nice. What? <laughs> Kick him in the balls. He shielded his son. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> Blocked Since by the you came all this way, allow us to show you some hospitality, Ogasawara-san. That's some nice hospitality. More like hostile terror. He's not a vampire, he's like a Matrix dude. Number. All of this is gonna be lost to history now. All the counterfeit bills. And my brother. Oh, that dude deserved to be kicked in the... <sighs> you had to wait until the very end to stab me in the back. Nama, I wish I could have saved something that would have led you to your brother. But your life was on the line, man. Shut up! If you ask me, Namba, you have very good friends. You call them friends? Yes. And I can help you with your problem. You want to know where your brother is? Huh? He was very close to discovering the truth of the fake bills in Ijincho. I knew that if he discovered that truth, I'd have to kill him. But I also knew that killing him would be a terrible waste of his talent. So I found a way to use him. Where is he now? 
He's the 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 boss of the Korean Gumi outcasts of our residential Mafia. district. He's not allowed to yeah. leave, of course. The vampire is no. her second in command. Safe and well. Really? What the fuck? Why did you tell us? I, I know it would have been risky, but, but still, far too risky. We couldn't tell you, and we especially couldn't tell Madison. Yeah. He's been a prime target of the EG3 ever since he found out about the counterfeiting. Well, I do see what you mean. You ought to realize the only reason we're telling you now is because your friends helped <clears throat> me by risking their lives. And they did that for you, not me. Just so you know. So what do you say, Namba? I can't just take your word for it. I need to see him for myself. Let's get the hell out of here. I know, right, Danielle? I don't feel like getting burnt to a crisp. Yeah, stand up. Let's go. I guess we have an arm up. As I forgive him, I'm fingers. I don't know. Maybe we can in the future. What do you think this place is? The public jail? Uh, don't worry, we won't be staying long. I just couldn't think of anywhere else we could then take you know, a guy. You get excited to do it. Did it have to be here, though? Sorry. You're not gonna torture him, are you? I can't allow that. No. This guy's the director of Bleach Japan. He led an Omi Alliance army into Ijincho. Thanks to him, Mamba. the Great Wall of Muscles about to come down. Hmm? Is that true? Yeah. So do you really want to let him walk out of here? Think about it. Hmm. Not really. <laughs> Just be gone by morning. We got it. Thanks. Boy, do I have a lot of questions for you, Ogasawara-san. Indeed. Lucky it's a long time till sunrise. Let's tear out his eyeballs and shove them up his nostrils. Justice tempered by mercy. He's right there. She might do Yo, it. Oh, Sachan. How's Namba? He ran off to go see his brother. It's really cute how he wants to check on him. Yeah. I couldn't be happier for the guy. Uh, same with me. I didn't think he'd make it, to tell you the truth. Nice to hear some good news for once. Yeah. Even if it means Nanba will probably be saying goodbye soon. Makes sense. He only came here to look for his bro. Not like he's got much reason to hang with us anymore. Yeah. I realize that. In the meantime, we need to get this guy talking. Let's get started then. <laughs> Ungag him. Yeah. 
<laughs> hey, Renee, how you doing? <laughs> Try anything funny, you'll catch hell. Try to run, you get hit. Thanks for stopping Don't by. Don't answer a question, you get hit. That's how it has to be. That's good to hear. We're all a great fan of, uh, great fans of Asuka's hair. Now, how did you fall in with the Omi Alliance? I notice when you tell them to jump, they ask how high. Why is that? Yeah, but kick him on the ball. Hey, remember the rules for not answering a question? Let's not resort to beating him just yet. Huh? But if we go easy on him, he's just gonna... As we speak, the Omi Alliance may well be looking for you. But it's gonna take them some time. How competent are they? Will they get here before we finish peeling off your <clears throat> fingernails? Yeah, I'm having a great time, but nice. I mean, uh, Yakuza Ask definitely helped he uh, since I actually ended up streaming home. godly huh. amounts the last Personally, few times. I won't be stopping uh, just but the yeah, it's been, been a lot of fun. <laughs> you get it? We're serious. Now tell us how you're connected to the Omi Alliance. Why are you the one holding their leash? I'm not the one holding the leash. I didn't really think you were. Who is then? You know. Ryo Aoki. Yes. You all know him? Who doesn't know the governor? The real question is, what's his real name? Oh, don't play dumb. We've done our homework. Uh, no stuff. What? You might not even know that. You can still take his finger nails, though. Uh, how do you know that name? A long time ago, I knew him as the young master. He knew me as Ichi. Have you played Back like a dragon, Renes? Sure. Still in the sure. clan. So, Ryo Aoki really is Masato Arakawa, huh? <clears throat> I mean, this guy, Danielle, is basically the equivalent of, I don't know, mix between Ben Shapiro and Gavin McInnes. <laughs> I met him almost 20 years ago, when we were studying abroad in America. He was majoring in political economics and sharp as attack. Was he going by Ryo Aoki when you met? Yes. I didn't learn his other name until later. Was he in a wheelchair? No. But I heard he used to be. Which, actually, I don't understand. Was he? Really? Yeah. Then he must have gotten treatment in the US. You can get anything there if you have enough money. Even unapproved medical procedures. So he had money? He certainly lived a lavish lifestyle. I could tell he was wealthy right away. I figured it couldn't hurt to get to know the guy better. Kiss ass. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I mean, sure, I knew he was rich, but I didn't know he was that rich. And it was shocking to learn about all his connections to the criminal underworld. I was just amazed at all the opportunities he'd grown up with. And yet... Uh... What? He wasn't satisfied with any of it. Not even a little bit. He wanted something completely different. What was that? Front-facing power. Front-facing power? Right. That was his term for it. He used to say not everyone can be controlled by Yakuza threats or bribes. People like that can only be controlled with front-facing power. Power you could see. Basically, popularity. Popularity? What? You think that's something only a teenager would want? Well, sure. Then you don't understand democracy. Under that system, it's the only path to power. As long as you're well liked by the majority, you can get away with anything. I hate politics. His money and criminal connections he called his rear-facing power. He said without the front-facing power, 
His power wasn't complete, so he decided to become governor of Tokyo. Yes. He said the governor had the most front-facing power of anyone in the country. Does he? Isn't the prime minister above him? The prime minister is just a figurehead chosen internally by the citizens' liberal party. So essentially, you only become prime minister by having a few <laughs> friends on the inside. But to be governor of Tokyo, that takes real popularity. Ten million people have to like you. Every vote you get represents a tiny bit of the power you have. But what about the power of money? The prime minister controls the national budget. <laughs> but Tokyo's budget alone is 14 trillion yen. That's more than some countries. So Maybe Draco. Both an incredible Could be. amount of money and the support <clears throat> of the public. <laughs> Who can compete with that? Ryo Aoki knew all of this. He wanted that governor's seat long before I met him. But I was happy to become a partner. In it sure was happy, sir. So. Step well, you're one probably can't hear me. was founding Bleach Japan. <laughs> you think you're his partner, huh? You sure you're not his servant? Take it from me. The young master can really crack a whip. I can ask about Bleach Japan first, then just take it slow and squeeze things out of him. Okay. We have our side quests back. New. So I'll just talk to him. Was it his idea to form Bleach Japan, or was it yours? It was his. And getting rid of all the gray zones was him too? Yes. Although when he first explained it, I thought it was pretty naive. But you went with it anyway. Why? Because I knew he could use the Arakawa family to recruit lots of people fast. It was an advantage no other political figure had. I knew that then, and I was right. Pretty soon, he was delivering results. For me, following him was a win-win situation. <laughs> the young master knows exactly how to use puppets like you. Guys who get all weak in the knees just for some cash and power. <clears throat> <laughs> Come on. Can't expect me not to make fun of a suck-up like you. So what happened next? Early on, people thought of Bleach Japan as a small advocacy group of nice young idealists. Our only goals were to <clears throat> eradicate corruption and make society fair and equal. We marched around the city shouting those demands over and over. Really? It sounds like a waste of time and money. I thought so too at first, but Aoki knew exactly what he was doing. He had his ear to the ground. He knew what society wanted. What do you mean? Eliminating corruption, creating a fair society. Words like that have a lot of appeal. People thought it was naive, sure. But deep down, it was exactly what they wanted. So people would praise us for our morality, if not our practicality. <laughs> Crazy, huh? A bunch of youths who'd never worked hard, shouting for the world to do as they said. But all the attention made them feel accomplished. I thought people only did that shit because it's trendy. Exactly my point. We made it trendy, and that attracted people who wanted to seem hip. Those types are everywhere. You familiar? You can hardly walk down the street without bumping into them. They came to us in droves. The organization grew bigger and bigger. We even paid a bunch of women to join so we'd be gender balanced, and that attracted more people. It was funny to see those girls bring in guys who claimed to be so passionate about the cause. <laughs> Hell, that's how we got Kume, now that I think about it. Kume, the Yokama brand chief, exactly the type of guy who'd fall for some girl's free talk. It took some time, but eventually we had members all across the country. <laughs> that gave us an unexpected bonus. What bonus? Turns out, when you attack Grey Zones, the corrupt local politicians start coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> they just can't resist. They're too addicted to money and influence. So a bunch of corruption was going on. It was so easy to grease their palms, or even blackmail them. 
I mean, so often we would just stumble across info that would completely ruin them if it went public. You call He's singing like a canna, yeah, exactly. It's He's not holding back. He's definitely afraid of you want. a boss lady. Ch makes you even worse than the politicians. How many members does Bleach Japan have now? If you count all permanent employees at every branch, we're 500 strong. Wow, 500 tight asses. <clears throat> But then there's the 100,000 people who join us for marches. 100,000? Yep. And here you have their leader tied up and pissed Yeah, I'd off. rather have them attached to me. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Say. May I ask you a question now, Kasuga-san? Technically, that was already a question. Shoot. Why are you here? Aren't you ex Arakawa? You know... If you want back in the family, I could put a word in with the governor. Hmm. Think about it. How do you benefit from helping the Eugene Three anyway? Why not leave all this trouble behind you? Yeah, trouble's a good word for it. Right? So, why not let me go now? It'd make both our lives easier. Look, I don't want back in the family. But I'm no ally of the Eugene Three either. No. I just want to get the guy who killed my boss. In fact, when all this started, I didn't know a damn thing about Mabuchi or your plan. <clears throat> get the picture now, kiss ass. We are not doing this for ourselves. We're doing it because someone picked a fight. And we're just making sure yes. justice is served. Justice! Unfortunately for you, you're the guy who picked the fight. <clears throat> Sucks to suck. Hey, you're the one who asked the dumb question. Think before you open your mouth next time. Exactly. Don't ask a question you don't want to hear the answer to. The bleacher pen was just a stepping stone to the governor's seat. Damn, how long did the young master plan this? Let's have a smoke, because that's cool. Listen, young people, everyone. Smoking is cool and healthy. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, let's just continue talking to him. I hope so, Danielle. I hope so. It does look like she has a broken hip when she's sitting there on the right, though. Ready to move on, Ogasawara san? You and the young master got Bleach Japan off the ground. What came next? After he got it working on a national scale, he started phase two. He sought out media attention constantly. Another brilliant move. Press flocked from all over to interview the charismatic young man behind Bleach Japan. He was front and center every day. He even went on some talk shows. It helped that he had a great smile he was willing to flash at every camera. Seriously? What does it matter if you look good on TV or not? It matters a lot, even more than what you say. When it comes to popularity, looks are everything. Fine. Is this story anywhere close to the present uh, day yet? No, not really. I think it's more like a... In 2010, Aoki ran for the House of Counselors. When he announced his campaign, he said he was leaving Bleach Japan. I mean, it's, it's kind of tough. Paper. I don't think there's like a, sure. we all know like a really fitting you, his loyal dog. Colon, but it's definitely like a populist, but like Come a little on. keep talking. A little more savvy than With the endorsement big, of the big orange man. Party, he won that a little, election. A little, a little smoother, a little and two years ago. Um governor. Was that a landslide too? Less I obvious about that. everything. Why not? It was more than a landslide. His popularity was off the charts. He had loads of funding. On top of all that, the Arakawa family dug up dirt on all his rivals. Truthfully, it was basically impossible for him to lose. The election was practically a formality. <sighs> and afterwards, he just kept riding the wave. Six months post-election, he exterminated the Tojo clan with the Kamurocho 3K plan. Of course, he only pulled that off because the Arakawa family was feeding him Tojo secrets. Did that happen around the same time as this? 
Yes. Yeah, but like, I mean, more when they saw him wiping out the Yakuza. Elon isn't really into like politics and out the Yakuza. Uh, like, uh, the for him, it's more about like by the Omi being seen as a cool guy since he's That's true. man child. Once the Tojo but it's like was gone, he opened the, gates the, the young mass is really after like the power and like the he uses popularity to get the power, but he's not after popularity. Why didn't the people complain about the, the first place? Yes. Far as I can tell. The Omi seizure of Kamurocho went down like, quietly. The popularity is the, no fuss. the key. Everyone the just castle. let the Omi slide peacefully onto the vacant throne. Did they even notice what was going on? <laughs> I think they figured every town has its share of thugs, Tojo clan or not. As long as crime is low overall, they don't care if the thugs are Omi or just lone actors. So Aoki's plan worked perfectly. Yeah. It was the rise of Arakawa, both father and son securing total power. The son is governor of Tokyo, and his daddy's the acting captain of Japan's largest gang. Pretty sweet deal, huh? Wait, hold the phone. What? Maybe society didn't care about the Omi invasion, but I bet the police did. You really trying to convince me the TPD stayed quiet during this whole thing? <laughs> they did stay quiet. And trust me, they had their reasons. Like what? Well, in the absence of the Tokyo pretty much, yes. Plan, the power of the, the at least that's how I understand. Yakuza gangs. They were two-bit thugs going on little crime sprees, trying to get while the gang. He was realized gone. that they had no by being to each other, like no democratically powers. elected, so like he would actually have more power than just Soon being a yakuza. So was he a nosedive. manufactured. <laughs> And like a but populist movement the alliance came in and took to get to that point and like crimes. use then also Plus his the yakuza connection the in the background the to strengthen his official legal power <laughs> ironic isn't it the cops wiped out the yakuza only to find they needed more yakuza and they weren't finished cavorting with criminals after all that the commissioner still taking that's the whole like the front facing power is like the huh? official democratic side of him becoming so governor and using the popularity the to become the governor but then he has the back facing power so and that is his background with the yakuza and connection Step into the crime this one has the cops world. the governor and the yakuza <laughs> what the hell kind of point are you trying to make the omi didn't just roll into kamurocho they had to have paid off the police commissioner <clears throat> you don't know that for sure. Don't play dumb. If the police did nothing while the Omi replaced the Tojo clan, it's because someone at the top ordered them to. And Horono Uchi ain't the type of guy to give that order for no reason. Yep. There was something in it for him. <laughs> what proof do you have? I'm asking you for the proof. You gotta have something. Well? No, I don't. And I wouldn't know about it, even if it does exist. After all, I'm just the governor's loyal dog, aren't I? A son of a bitch is what you are! Dachi-san, calm down. <sighs> Back to the important subject. The young master is the popular, popular governor. Now that the young master is governor of Tokyo, is he going after Ijincho? It seems like that's what he's doing. Yes, but his target isn't Ijincho itself. It's Utaka Ogikubo. Ogikubo? Yes. He's the only cabinet member who's not totally cowed by Aoki. The rest of the cabinet does whatever Aoki says because of how popular he is. But Utaka Ogikubo, chair of the Citizens Liberal Party, is still holding out. <laughs> a politician who actually has a spine? That's a rare thing. Agreed. And he's stubborn. Under normal circumstances, he'd be a lost cause. But Aoki has come to know some things about him. Like how he also has some sway in the criminal underworld. Aoki has proof of that? No. He just recognizes the signs. Like Aoki, Oki Kubo rose to power through shady connections. When you do that, there's a telltale smell that lingers. Aoki recognized what he was smelling, that's all. And if he gets Oki Kubo out of power, then he'll be truly unstoppable. But it can't be easy for him to remove the guy. It's not. Aoki wasn't even going to try unless he knew he'd be successful. But he knew he would be once he smelled that criminal element on Oki Kubo. 
Then he knew they both shit in the same hole. A crude way to put it, but what can I say? So you were sent to the Eijin Cho branch of Bleach Japan to help make use of this dirt on Oki Kubo? That's a fitting analogy. And the first thing you did was buy off Mabuchi. Let me guess. You told them you had the Omi Alliance's support. He couldn't resist that kind of bait. You told them he'd get in good with them if he helped you. Mabuchi's never liked the way Jincho is divvied up among the Ijin Three. And with his high Makuchi. rank, he's the de facto leader of all the other members who also don't like it. Sounds like he was the perfect prey for you. Pray what you sent out to kill our boss, and made it look like a suicide. That murder got the Ijin Three all riled up and suspicious of each other. Whose big-brained idea was that? It was Mabuchi's. He knew it would bring down the Great Wall. Myself, I was never one for murder. Oh yeah? Well, an innocent guy is still dead. If you didn't give the order, then someone above you did, right? Say it! It was your boss, Ryu Aoki, wasn't it? Yes, it was him. I told him about Mabuchi's plan. I didn't think he'd go for it because it was so risky. In fact, I proposed a different plan of my own. But unfortunately, he saw nothing wrong with Mabuchi's plan. He was willing to accept high risk for high return, and he was eager to get the jump on Ogi Kubo. The young master saw nothing wrong with killing a man? It would have just been another murder, except someone had to pry open the crack it made in the Great Wall. You talking about me? <laughs> yes, but don't take it personally. It was always going to come to this eventually. Mabuchi wasn't going to stop until he had an excuse to start a war with the Seiryu clan. She's right. Our plan was to provide the excuse. And in the chaos, find something to connect Ogikubo to Ijincho's criminals. Sure enough, we found a counterfeiting enterprise that's been supporting the Ijin 3 for decades. Jackpot. Yeah, don't take too much pride in that. You had a hell of a lucky break. <laughs> yes, we did. We were lucky that you're bad at choosing friends, because it was Nanba who told us. He told us about the fake money and where the heart of the operation was. <laughs> it was all due to him that we were able to mobilize such a large number of Omi. Yeah, I mean, I would love I guess to thank him. We're not at that point just yet. By the way, <laughs> we ain't telling you. We're the ones asking questions. <laughs> Has to Such fall a, a little, shame. little further down. Songhui favors. What should we do now? Our counterfeiting business is burned and gone. So Ogi Kubo's already lost a major source of his power. That alone is a victory for Aoki. And as far as what will happen to Ijincho, the ball's in his court. <laughs> the queen of the Komi Jewel is so calm in the face of impending doom. Excuse me? This city will meet the same fate as Kamurocho. What are you on about? Soon Ijincho will be under complete Omi control. No more Great Wall of Muscle to stop it. Don't you see that? <laughs> Time to take some fingernails. I had enough with this guy. Hey! Hey! What's going on now? It's the Yakuza! They're coming here! Oh, Shit! Boy. How'd they find us? How many are there? I saw five of them, but it looked like they were on their phones. They're probably calling for backup. You probably could have warned us a tad sooner. Oh, it's the bitch Japan guys. Hey, isn't he? <laughs> I've got a sharp nose for rats, especially when they're all in one nest. The old... Hey. No, not the old guy. Sorry. I couldn't protect you. You had a fall. No, Chief. We should be apologizing to you. Here, you guys. 
That ain't gonna happen. But you better let Captain Sawashiro know who rescued you. You got that? Fine. Jeff <laughs> Goldblum snuck in that Captain backpack. Sawashiro. Yeah. Uh, it's like a little ca cameo. Right, <laughs> Let's exterminate all the vermin. Here we go. Cool. It's a gun. Hey, it's a gun. Okay, that was a good start, I would say. Get rid of this guy. Oh, I didn't get rid of him at all. Whoa, he also has a gun. Let's. Oh yeah, that, that's a good idea. Let's let's cream pie them. Leveled up in style. <laughs> we showed them. Unfortunately, I think they showed us. Huh? Why do you say that? They what? Took off with how, Sawara. how did you let him leave? You were standing right next to him. Yes. That was hardly our victory. Whatever. You were standing right next to him. How can you let him escape? Are you kidding Sorry me? About the fighting, Chief. Well, my people and I don't have much right to complain. <laughs> Seeing as we're not supposed to be here anyway. However. Yeah. Next time you kid. She could have stepped on him to stop him. Take them somewhere else. Totally. Uh, I mean, it's not like I'm gonna kidnap someone again. Probably. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Can't make that promise. Oh. That's a ringtone. Kasuga, it's Hoshino from the Seiryu clan. The chairman? He's never called this number before. Then it can only be bad news. Probably. Yeah. Usually see. bad news. Not exactly. No, Comey Jewel's system is out of commission. For once, I only know as much about what's going on as you do. I'm guessing the Seiryu clan's rank and file is probably real pissed off right now. Probably. That's what Kotsuka was saying. When will we have it back up and running? Huh. Now there's a question. I won't be able to say until I survey the damage, but it definitely won't be anytime soon. Yes, that's fine. What the chairman say? The Seiryu clan quelled their infighting. Captain Takabe handled it. Really? He made it out okay. It's Pinstripe Daddy, as Hypatia calls him. Was there anything else? Yes. The problem with the Yokohama Leoma. Hoshino hasn't been able to reach Zhao at all. There was also issues with Zhao. Yeah. For all he knows, Zhao could be dead. Uh -oh. That's why he was asking us to use our surveillance system. He wanted us to check on Zhao. Can any hey, Blacko! How are you doing today? I doubt it. Damn. And you know what else? This is not Persona. It's a good us, game. He told us over the phone there was a coup d'etat happening in the Lumon. You're better? That's good to you. I could but. use my guys, but there's sort of a coup going on. Mahabuchi's been whipping all the boys into <laughs> <Get> your... <laughs> They ain't happy the counterfeiting was kept. There goes the peace of quiet. <laughs> Looks like we got another job ahead of us, Songkui san. And what makes you say us? Really? 
After Zhao put your Komi Jewel ahead of himself, even though he was in danger, he was the one who told us to help you instead of his own group. Now he's in even worse trouble. And you you're really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? Leco, thank you so much Besides for gifting us something to Alpha. It's now been you can't to subscribed for 60 months. Anyway. 60, that's a six no and a zero. Head over to Zhao's right this second or something? Surely not. Thank you so much, Pleco. That's very generous of you. Damn right I am. Well, just, just hold on a second, would you? <laughs> I would never amaze because I love Persona. It's my favorite thing. Yeah, I had I so much fun being in so, a an 80 hour tutorial. Who said anything about me sitting <laughs> out? I'm so close to cornering Horinouchi. Look at us. We all started in different places. Well, actually, I, I enjoyed playing Persona. It just it just dragged a little together. too much for me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And that's because we had each other's backs. So what do you say, Songhui san It just wasn't for me. I could see why people like it. It's just like the, the comment wasn't really mine, and uh, and otherwise it just for me personally attractive. Since so then, I'm just taking a piss. <laughs> okay. Now we're talking. Fucking hey. Yeah, maybe I need to give it another shot at some point. Don't rule it out. Hey, you never know. He might be fine. Then we can just forget it. Leather jacket lady is uh is a boss lady, and uh, I think Danielle already claimed her as her crush. Um, Hypatia claimed Zhao as her crush. So now we gotta pick what's left. We got the old chief. Nice. That's awesome, man. vampire dude. Real happy for you. Thanks. No, it was What's before up? Roy was out. I think it was. I played it right when Persona 5 came out. Something nice. I want to say. Okay. That helps Shoot. a ton. Normal. Ichibon, okay. You need to understand something. That, that's that's interesting, Zero. That, that makes it more likely for be. me to try it out. Leave it alone. What? I mean, why do you even care what happens to the EG3? Why are you doing all this for them? Why not just get out of this dump? Why should you keep sticking your these things along for sure? Nice, that's good to you. You're starting to sound For me, like you least. care about me. I just think you need to stop playing hero. That's why you end up getting used. Especially by guys like me. Used? I don't see it that way. You did what you had to do to help your brother. I get that. But doing what I had to for my brother? That led to bad things. It made me help the scumbags. Uh oh, we got a fight in chat. But that was He's getting nothing. boss lady. on we. <sighs> I can't wash the blood off my hands. They're not the only thing that's stained. It feels like my entire soul is tainted. Like I'm branded forever. All because of this goddamn time. Boss Lady is, uh, is the uh, uh, purple haired Korean lady, shit. Sung Wee. Namba. Nothing good. Who's now it's right behind the fire. Staying here and helping these people. You'll eventually end up just like me. You don't want that, do you? I mean, for me, it's Nancy Chan. Nancy Chan is the hot. Think of yourself for once. You did 18 Turn. years of hard time. Don't let other people's shit keep you a prisoner. I'm not the only one stuck in the ship, man. Psycho this is very cute. Is, He's awesome. And she's a badass, too. Aoki and Oki Kubo dragged everyone into their stupid power struggle. They started this whole mess. I'm just one guy caught in the middle of it. And keep in mind, I ain't just some random outsider. Me and Aoki, we basically have the same dad. Aoki would never put it this way, but we're brothers. And that's how I feel. What's a brother business going so on, brother? Responsibility for him. We're brothers, brother. Can't just walk away when he's causing all these problems. <laughs> You've already gone way beyond the call, man. I could say the same about you. We aren't even brothers, but look how hard you're trying to save me right now. You're a true friend, man. Admit it. Don't say that. I'm nobody's friend. You know what I just realized? We're not even all that different. Well, yeah, I don't know. My, no, like, we, we have to fear that he's either a vampire me, or Sancho, part of a Matrix movie that isn't out yet. The truth. That's so. been the core of everything we do. Figuring out what's real in a world full of lies. What do you think of that? Am I talking out my ass? I don't know, but I've heard enough. I'm leaving. And that's what hackers wear these days. See, goodbye. Drake is the expert. Because so. I think we'll be seeing each other again soon. There you got your answer. Call on me, and I'll come running, pal. Take care of yourself. 
Should we stop him? Yes. He said his piece. I even see where he's coming from. Kinda. <sighs> well, that's that. Let's fucking do this! <laughs> I'm ready. Song Hui, I apologize if I'm overstepping, but shouldn't you stay behind? And why would I do that? Our people in the Komijul are scared and confused right now. And I believe your leadership in person would be a great comfort. <sighs> Please. They need you. It sounds like you got a lot on your plate, Songkwi. It's cool. I know we were just pressing you for help, but you got your people to take care of. I do. But it doesn't mean I'm going to abandon you, Kasuga. Jungi Han will stay with you. That way we can keep in touch. Seriously? Well, that'd be great! I am at your service, Ichiban Kasuga. I think we recruited just the vampire. Jungi Han! You we recruited vampire guy. There you go. If Zhao hadn't sent you to us, we couldn't have fulfilled our duty to Okubo. <laughs> so we will do whatever game. is within our power to help you. <laughs> it's not my fault! Jungi Han is a very capable man. <laughs> Oh yeah, he is. Thanks. Come <laughs> on, I mean, it wasn't my choice. We just, we just got the leftovers. Let's go, Zappa. What the Kumi Jewel can tell Zhao was last seen at his restaurant. I see. mean, King Jin? Sparkles in the sunlight. The game needs to burn. Hopefully, he's still alive. 